All right, this video is to replace one that I hope no one even saw. Um, I, I deleted it right away after I watched it and realized, shit, I, I, I said something as uh, agree with, and then a moment later it was in the context of don't agree with, and it made it very hard to understand what the video was trying to say, so redoing it. Um, there are a number of people out there who think it's totally okay for companies to fire someone for expressing a belief that they don't agree with. This includes uh, places outside the workplace, right? They've got no problem with that. Oh, you, they can fire, you can fire someone for having a bumper sticker on their car that's of politics you don't like, you know, that sort of thing. Yet people who argue that companies should be able to do that but then some of these same people uh, suddenly change their position when it comes to someone on YouTube. You know, it's okay for, for ABC to fire Roseanne for, the, for what they fired her over, but it's not okay for a company to remove the, uh, the way the person makes money uh, for putting out videos that are oh it's a it's a free speech warrior right so it's it's all different because it's a free speech warrior that's that's being targeted now right <sighs> look i am i am against i am against financial institutions banks you know i i am against them trying to dictate people's speech, okay? I am not for them doing this, okay? I, I've, I've, I, I've tried to make it somewhat clear anyway, um, but I, I shouldn't just have to make some video where I know it's so wrong for companies to do this. It's, it's, it should be assumed that it's wrong for companies to do this. But to make this sort of change, we would have to change a lot about business culture. We'd have to change a lot about the way we think of, uh, of what a company is able to do. And we'd have to think about lots of regulations. We'd have to think about, okay, if a company is bigger than this amount, than, than this much, um, and they offer this service, they can't discriminate. Right? We'd have, we'd have to push that sort of thing all around. Well, maybe we could push it just in the, on the internet and then we'd be wondering, well, how do these laws now match with everything outside the internet? You know? So there's, there's a lot that goes into it. But no matter what, um, the fact that it's, it's messed up what Patreon has done, it's really messed up what PayPal has done, that still doesn't make, that still doesn't make Carl Benjamin. That still doesn't make Sargon of Akkad, a, 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 someone who's truthful and honest and has great uh, intent, and uh, isn't a liar. That that still doesn't mean that, you know. It just seems it, it's 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 kind of weird. You can't say something bad about a cult leader. Oh, he's not a cult leader. He's certainly, he's certainly the way people treat him. It's, it's like Trump, you know. Trump is like a cult leader. Maybe he's not technically a cult leader because he's not, he's not. Maybe he's not conscious of it, or maybe he doesn't realize the power that he has with that. But uh, he's sure treated like a cult leader. Both Trump and 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 on a much much lesser level, I'm um, Sargon of Akkad. So. You know, um, yeah, say something bad about your great uh, cult leader and up, oh, up, oh, I've had enough. Goodbye. I'm unsubscribing. Well, goodbye. Don't let the door hit you. Doesn't matter anything else I say. I have to, 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 to side with Sargon. I have to side with Sargon. Side with Sargon or you're against free speech. No, I don't have to side with Sargon. Sorry. 
Okay, and I can still be for free speech. I can still speak against the companies for doing what they're doing and still not believe Sargon. It's possible, it really is.